Hey everybody, I'm Carson Daly. Today is Monday, October 20th, 2014. I'm right here in the Today Show Orange Room and I want to give a huge welcome to everybody attending Hill Holiday's TV Next Summit. There is a lot of great stuff packed into today. As the future of TV gets decoded, who knows how you'll wake up with the Today Show in the future as we continue to evolve and connect with audiences across multiple platforms. So let's get this show started. But first, this is Today on NBC and Hill Holiday's TV Next Summit begins right now. Please welcome Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Breaker of Chains and Mother of Dragons. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Hill Holiday's fourth annual TV Next Summit. This is a room full of television lovers, so I'm hoping you all recognize my outfit from Game of Thrones. Not bad, right? <laughs> Got the wig for eight bucks. I should give this away to someone as a Halloween costume. I'll think of a contest by the end of the day. Uh, and Mike Prue, I would like to know why you are not dressed as Khal Drogo. You told me you would be Khal Drogo and I would be Khaleesi. You've got some explaining to do, Mike but I kind of like being the Khaleesi, as you all know. So do we have any Game of Thrones fans here today? Yeah? Excellent, excellent. All right, for those of you who don't watch the show, it takes place in a fictional medieval land called Westeros. And despite the fact that they didn't actually have televisions in Westeros because, you know, medieval times and everything, the setting of the show does have a thing or two in common with the dynamics of today's television industry. It was a world where the powerful, entrenched dynasties of the past were fighting desperately to keep what was theirs. A world where allegiances were always shifting and the line between friend and enemy was never clearly marked. A world where the future outcome was uncertain, except that the winners would be handsomely rewarded. The losers don't fare so well in Westeros, unfortunately. As the saying goes, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. The stakes aren't quite so high in the world of television. It's more like you win or you get a job in radio. <laughs> Just kidding, radio, we love you. We're not putting on a Radio Next Summit, but we love you. You win or you die is just one of the great catchphrases of Game of Thrones. And as any Game of Thrones nerd knows, there's all kinds of wisdom to be found in Westeros. So let me frame our day with three Game of Thrones truisms that apply to the changing television landscape. Winter is coming. The characters in Westeros know that a massive change to their world is imminent. It's unavoidable and already underway. In our world, we've known for years that every aspect of the television business would be reimagined. Bob Garfield published his Chaos Scenario essay in 2005 in Ad Age, laying out his predictions for the new media world order that would emerge by 2020. If you have a look at that essay sometime, you'll see that so much of what he predicted has already happened. Consider the following developments from the past year. Four of the six Emmy-nominated dramas last year ran in environments that contained no advertising slots. These are the shows that are shaping culture and driving conversation, and there's no room for brands in them. Or that the next generation of consumers see no difference between television stars and YouTube stars. 
Variety did a survey this summer and found that among teens, YouTube stars are actually more popular than mainstream stars. Or that even the way television media dollars are transacted is starting to change with the data-driven principles of programmatic buying coming for the big pot of money. Winter is coming. It means simply that change is unavoidable. We need to prepare for it and we need to embrace it. Our sessions today are designed to help you all do both. In a time of incredible change, it is comforting to know that there are certain constants we can rely on. It is known. It's an expression that reminds the characters of Game of Thrones of the foundational, enduring truths that never change. When it comes to television in 2014, what is known? I'd say there are two things. The first is that the power of a great story, well told, will never diminish. It was true for the cavemen, it's true for all of us here today, and it will be true wherever humans find themselves a thousand years from now. The second known is that we will use the amazing technology we're surrounded by to get closer to the stories we love. Technology may disrupt established business models, but fundamentally it has the potential to deepen the connection people feel to the characters and the stories they love. As I'm sure you all saw, last week HBO announced its plans to sell its service directly to consumers without a cable subscription. CBS made a similar announcement the next day. This is a clear bellwether for the near-term future of television, a future that exists on iPads and smartphones and maybe even without an actual device called television. It is known. The future of TV exists at the intersection of wonderful stories and technology that empowers people to interact with those stories in new ways and on their own terms. Words are wind. This is my favorite quote from Game of Thrones. Such an elegant way to say actions speak louder than words. The future of television will be shaped by the brave players that are most willing to experiment and evolve. The bold ones that are willing to meet consumers on their terms and to redefine what it means to tell a story in a media environment that is no longer constrained by 30 and 60 minute linear segments delivered through a large box in a living room. The possibilities are so exciting and today we've assembled an amazing lineup of speakers who are pursuing these possibilities and redefining this industry. These are the people who are shaping the evolution of television through their actions, their experiments, their enthusiasm, and their courage. We couldn't be more excited to have these speakers here today. I want to thank you all so much for joining us today. I know this is going to be a fantastic event. I think it could have been even more fantastic if Mike Pru had agreed to come out dressed as Khal Drogo, but I'm still pretty excited about the day. And now I would like to bring out your hosts for the fourth annual TV Next Summit. Please welcome Mike Pru and Stacey Shepparton. everyone. TV Next is about the future of television, but it's also about togetherness. And it brings together our clients, our media partners, students, and of course, our Hill Holiday talent. It's great to see some familiar client faces here today. We also want to officially welcome to the Hill Holiday family our new clients, LG Home Appliances and Olympic Paint and Stain. We're really excited to have you guys here. We are live streaming today's event thanks to the Pulse Network, so we want to welcome everybody who's joining us virtually today. We hope you stay with us for the entire day. And the Pulse Network, be sure to check out their Inbound Marketing Summit happening this November right here in Boston. We could not put on this event without the support of our sponsors. And Stacy and I have to say, you guys really delivered this year for us. 
Yeah, it's been great. So we first want to thank Place IQ and Rentrack for sponsoring our breakfast this morning. And then, yes, thank you very much. And then Collective, uh, thank you very much. They will be our lunch sponsor for this afternoon. And then you're going to see and hear from a whole bunch of other sponsors, uh, including Pebble, who traveled all the way from Palo Alto. All of our speakers today will be getting the Pebble Steel smartwatch. So thanks to Pebble for that. And a lot of other sponsors that will be integrated into the program over the course of today. So TV Next is known for its fast pace. You will not hear speaker bios or any kind of introductions with long details about people. Everything you need to know is at tvnextsummit.com. You can go there and find out everything you want to know about everybody you're going to see up here on stage today. And now's a great time to go there. We actually want you to go to tvnextsummit.com slash social to follow along the real-time back channel. We're going to be doing live polls throughout the course of the program today. So you want to make sure you have that loaded in the background of your smartphone or your tablet device. Speaking of social, we want you to tweet and tweet often using the hashtag TVNext. Um, the back channel is on overdrive this year, thanks to our awesome tech team backstage. But you can follow along. If you look at these screens um, on either side, you can follow along that back channel conversation and definitely want to hear from you throughout the day. This year for TV Next, we partnered with Research Now. And just what hit the wire is the results of a survey we did about the future of television. We have to say the results were really interesting. You're going to hear them integrated into the program today by our Hill Holiday moderators, but you can go to see the full results of the research at tvnextsummit.com slash research. And there you have it. We have an awesome lineup today. Um, strap in. We're ready to go. And let's do it. Let's do it, guys.